Your geography is one that's tilted more towards the southwestern United States and Texas in particular. So take us through the reasons why you feel NYCB is having the issues that it's having right now and why maybe your geography isn't feeling the same kind of localized pressures. Well, Don, first of all, thanks for having me on the show today. And, you know, the way I'd respond to that is uh, it's like real estate. All right. The most important thing is location, location, location. And I, while I'm not familiar with the details of the uh, community bank situation in uh, New York, I am familiar with Texas. And Texas, <clears throat> this part of the country, we're having 1,300 people per day move into the state. Those people need places to live. Those people have places to work. And so that is a real key ingredient of the success that we're having in the state of Texas right now. And I think it's a key ingredient of why portfolios may be different at different regional banks around the country. Well, speaking of portfolios, one of the main common threads that many of these smaller and mid-sized banks in America have at least mentioned or at least addressed in some way, shape or form is this notion that commercial real estate, office space, uh, multifamily housing, some of those bigger construction projects are ones that could be vulnerable. Is that the case where you are in Texas? Uh, and is it a concern for you guys as well? Well, Don, it's a risk business, right? It's commercial banking. And if, uh, you know, if it was easy, they'd be having teenage boys do it. But the, uh, the, the truth is that I think the important thing in real estate is, is what your structure is, what your, what your sponsorship is, what your project is. And it's really not the, the most important thing, what you're doing today. It's what you've done over the last three years.